In today's video, I'm buying an awesome vintage Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection video and this one's gonna be super fun because it has singles, slabs, and packs inside. So there's like basically everything you could ever want vintage Yu-Gi-Oh style. So I'm super excited to see this. Well, first we have a giveaway. Okay, here we go. Here's the giveaway. We have a first ed Reaper on the Nightmare. We have a first ed Gear Free the Iron Knight. We have a first ed Delinquent Duo. We have a Cyber In Dragon from Cybernetic Revolution. That's the Ultra, not the Ulti. And a first ed at what appears to be Wavy Trapple. That's part of the giveaway. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications let me know down below what's your favorite item in the collection what do you think it's worth and then shout out connor because this is one of the best giveaways we've had in a while and that's i mean we do some good giveaways so that's pretty crazy also a quick reminder that some of this stuff will be available on ruxin 34com so go check it out down below i've listed a bunch of psa cards already before this video so there's going to be some of this stuff as well so go check that out there should be some sealed product on there psa cards a few singles stuff like that all right we have a note to start it off we have hey ruxin first of all thank you for getting me back into collecting i stumbled on your videos a few years ago and they inspired me to pull out my childhood collection and rekindle my excitement for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh collecting. However, with two kids, it is time for me to move on, although I'll still be watching all your pulls. Excited to see what you pull from the collection, Connor. Yes, kids, that can do it. Hey, they are very expensive, so that makes sense, Connor. Let's see what you sent us. All right, first item is a sealed item. We have a GX Special Edition, which is not in incredible shape, but we'll probably be opening it at some point on the channel, so get excited for that. I mean, Old school openings. He doesn't love it, so that's very cool. Okay, next let's do the graded cards, and there's a bunch of sealed stuff. There might not actually be singles in here. I thought there was. I can't remember. You know, it's kind of an unknown. You guys know I do. I, I look at them for a second, and then I forget everything that's inside. <laughs> it's only been like a week, and I've already forgotten everything. Okay, graded slabs right here. What will they be? First item is Change of Heart. This looks like a 2017 reprint, PSA 8. Very hard to grade those uh, 2017 reprints, so not surprising. We have a Fiend Skull Dragon, PSA 8 First Ed from Legacy of Darkness, so old school right there. A Kazijin First Ed from Metal Raiders, pretty cool. I like Kazijin and like Metal Raiders, obviously, my favorite set. We have a Spellbinding Circle First Ed, PSA 8. So, so far, a lot of PSA 8s. We'll see if there's anything better than that as we go. But Magic Roller, we're looking at old school, old school, besides the one reprint. Uh, ooh, Magic Cylinder First Ed PSA 8. That's pretty amazing. Labyrinth of Nightmare Secret Rare. I'm always a huge fan of that because I played that in my deck back in the day as a kid. So it wasn't the Labyrinth of Nightmare version. It was the reprint version from, was it Rise of Destiny, Invasion of Chaos, something like that. Might be Invasion of Chaos. Uh, yeah, because that's where the Gemini is. So here's a First Ed Gate Guardian. Speaking of Metal Raiders, wow, that's awesome. Gate Guardian, if PSA 8, that's super cool. Okay, that some good cards so far. Valkyrie on the Magnet Warrior, our first PSA 9. This is from SDD, Stairway to Destin Duel, the video game. So that's really awesome. There is a, ooh, Dark Pound. If that was first dead, I'd be like, whoa. Okay, so this is the original Unlimited Magicians 4 Stark Paladin. If it's first dead, that means you can't pull it from a pack. That means you'd have to send in the uh, error artwork, which is the one you'd pull from the Magicians Force booster box. Send that in to Konami to get this, but you can't do that anymore. Obviously, that was like in 2003 or whatever. So those are very rare, very hard to get. Some people have had, you know, 50 copies of them before or whatever, but that they're still pretty rare overall. Um, let's see about this. We have the, okay, Silent Magician level four. I always really like this card. I want to get a PSA 10 set of these from the Nightmare Trabador game. I don't even know what game this is. I just recently have seen a couple of these and I'm like, this card looks really nice. Silent Magician's really cool. Pretty awesome PSA card so far. We have a, okay, Elemental Hero Dark Neo is pretty cool. Uh, it's a main condition, PSA 9, just, in a, just the Ultra, not the Ultimate or anything, but still really cool. We have a Catapult Turtle First Ed, PSA 9 from Metal Raiders. Are we gonna get a PSA 10 coming up soon? We're kind of like eights, nines, maybe tens. All right, then we have the Hell Palmer, which is a pretty cool Ferrani Garden card. I believe the cover card, right? Is the cover card? I'm pretty sure it is. Like 99% sure, but for some reason, I'm second guessing. Uh, just speaking of, there's the error artwork. So this is the error artwork Dark Paladin. If you open a first set Magician's Force box, if you pull a Dark Paladin, it'll be this artwork. What you had to do back in the day was take this, send it to Konami, and they would, or Upper Deck, or I, who, I don't remember who exactly it was, probably Konami, but maybe Upper Deck. And then they would send you back the other version, the first ed corrected art, they called it, because it was what it was supposed to be. Somehow they put out the complete wrong artwork in an entire set, which is pretty amazing, but it's Konami, what do you expect? All right, two cards left. We have Chaos Ember Dragon Collector Rare First Ed from Toon Chaos, PSA 10, or first PSA 10. That's pretty beautiful. That card looks good in CR, it really does. I mean, they did well. I mean, some of these CRs are kind of hard to see, but when you get it in the light, it looks really nice, shines really well. And the last card, I'm pretty sure this is a Vampire Lord. 
And it's a 10. I didn't remember that it was a 10, but it makes sense because it kind of went in order there. Vampire Lord PSA 10, first edition. I do already have this one, so this one will be for sale if you guys are interested in a Vampire Lord. It's an awesome secret rare. I mean, the artwork of it, the, e the emo vampire. Such a cool looking guy. I mean, I'm a big fan. I think it looks amazing. All right, let's go ahead and move these PSA cards out of the way so we can get to some sealed product, but already a pretty great start to the collection. And if you do have a collection you wanna sell to me, then just hit me up on my email, rodneyruxon34.com. Usually I'm looking for like graded stuff is great because it's a lot easier for me to like go through because if it's like a giant binder with a bunch of $1 cards, I'm usually not picking that up anymore just because I don't have time to go through them. If it's PSA, it's a lot easier for me. It can be some singles and stuff, but if it's higher in like 20 plus dollars, is what I'm sort of looking for on there. Or sealed product, all that stuff is the stuff I wanna pick up. So if you have that kind of stuff and you're looking to sell it, hit me up and we might be able to make a deal. Okay, and speaking of sealed product, here we go. All right, there's a bunch of single packs, which single packs, you know how that goes. You never really know where they came from. I think he, I think, he said he got them off like eBay over the years. So it's like, it's been like several years. So it's like, you know, you never really know with these packs. There's a good chance they're not actually, uh, you know, they're, they're they might be scaled, they might be weighed, you know, that's kind of stuff that you deal with. But it was a pretty cool pack. So I figured we'd pick it up anyway. It is uh, tournament pack four. We got a couple of those. I mean, these almost are never gonna have a foil if they're loose because they're so hard to pull the foil in general, but it's just fun to have them. They're cool. So then we got Dark Crisis Unlimited. These are from 2003, it looks like. I had to check. Let's see. Old Konami logo. Yeah, this looks like 2003 to me. Um, you can't. Yeah, the old Yu-Gi-Oh right there. So I think that's that's the uh, 2004. So these are all. Oh, no, no. OK, now I got to figure this out. See, these are the 10 ones because they have US and Canada. Logo is a little different. Uh, this might be 2004 then. I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. So uh, then we have Flaming Eternity. It's always hard to tell. There's a lot of difference. So Flaming Eternity Unlimited. So some good stuff in there. All right, here we go. We have Frontier Guardian First Ed. So a few of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Pretty cool. First Ed Dark Crisis. All right, that's pretty awesome. First Ed Power of the Duelist. I wonder if that is... Uh, is that a hobby pack? I'm not sure, but uh, oh, little spoilers. We got Magician's Force back there. Two Magician's Force, $3.99 was not what I paid on those, unfortunately. All right, then we got some more original. So we have original logo, 2002 Magic Ruler, 2002 Pharaoh Servant, 2002, three of those, Unlimited. So we have Unlimited Labyrinth of Nightmare from 2003. So this this did last in 2003, the logo, but uh, they changed it in that year. So, you know, they came out 2003, but it was early 2003. So you had some Unlimited there. And then some more Pharaonic Guardians. That's cool. Unlimited. And then a Legacy of Darkness. We've never opened that set before. It's crazy. We've opened so much of these old sets. Like Legacy of Darkness, we've opened. We've probably opened at least a thousand packs of Legacy of Darkness, which is insane when you think about it. 2003 pack, we've opened that much. And now I'm thinking, do have we opened a thousand? That's kind of a lot. We've definitely opened hundreds because we've opened several boxes, like 36 to 24 packs. I don't know if we've made it to a thousand yet. That's a lot. Okay, we've got a few more packs here. Um, by a few, I mean, there's still quite a bit left. Let's try to get this thing open. I'm going to try to cut it a little bit, but yeah, this, this tape's being tough. Now let's go knife, newly sharpened, not newly, but re fairly recently sharpened. Yeah, and stuff like these booster packs are probably not going to be like for sale on my website just because I don't really know for sure if they're weighed or not. So they're probably going to be on openings, which is probably better for you guys anyway. But first ed, magic ruler. We have first ed, Pharaoh servant. I forgot. Oh, I forgot about these first eds. First ed, legacy of darkness. Like we've opened a lot of it, but I'm always down to pull Yada or inject very lily. First Ed MFC, that's awesome. We got First Ed LON, MFC, IOC. Wait, can we do a, oh, we can't do a First 11 set because I don't have an LOB pack. Uh, that's too expensive. Okay, we have three Retro Pack 2. Those are not First Ed, but they cannot be First Ed. So, man, that was a banger set right there. There was a lot of good cards or good packs, hopefully good cards inside. Maybe like one or two good pulls. Here's something really interesting. Uh, I wasn't even really necessarily interested in picking this up because I figured it'd be more expensive, but Connor was like, he's like, I'm really trying to move this thing. So uh, it ended up being a decent price. So what this is is a european unlimited metal raiders box wasn't that interesting because it was european i was like if it's like really expensive i don't want it he actually bought this and the seal was weird or something like that so he opened it up so it's already opened and the packs he took out the packs and i guess everything looked fine so you know the packs look pretty decent they're unlimited european but they are originals there's a bunch of these in here so basically a 24 pack box and then he gave me a price that i was like look that's that's not crazy. Like, I'll pick that up. That's not too bad. So I ended up deciding to grab it just because I was grabbing everything else he had. He had this one box. He's like, look, I want to just sell it with everything else. It'd be great. And so I decided to pick it up. And this, since this is from a booster box, I'm like 99% sure these are unweighed. So this should be like a real booster box worth. I mean, I, I didn't see the seal come off myself, but 
uh, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that, that these are unweighed. So that's pretty cool. We got 24 packs of European Metal Raiders. That should be fun to open at some point. These could even be for sale because I feel good about them. And then, of course, if we go over 24, if they get refunded or whatever. But so here we go. Third party blister to start off with the OG Unlimited Metal Raiders. We have not one, but two. Oh, wait, no, I didn't see. There's also a Labyrinth the Nightmare pack back there. Same thing here, Labyrinth the Nightmare and Metal Raiders. Here looks like LOD MRL. That's amazing. Then we have a Pharaoh Servant MRL. That's one of my favorites so far. That's a good combo. We have an Unlimited Dark Crisis, and then we have a First Ed Pharaonic Guardian. So not a bad little selection of old packs. I'll probably be opening these blisters at some point because that's just a fun video opening old blisters. So you'll probably see that coming soon to the channel. Oh yeah, so make sure you subscribe, you know, because obviously we're trying to get to 250, I guess, a quarter million. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, and it's not over yet. By the way, we will open a couple packs at the end of this because uh, we do have a lot of packs here. Probably some of these ones I'm not really sure about, you know, maybe just a few of these uh, loose packs. I, I want to say unway, but they're they're probably not unway. I don't know that if they are or not. So I really have nothing, but all right, let's see. OK, here we have more uh, random third party blisters. We have a Dark Revelation Volume 1 Rise of Destiny first at so two packs. What's 794? Now it's 594. Now it's more than that. <laughs> it's more than both of those. So very cool. Those are always super fun. We got another one. We got Flaming Eternity and Soul of the Duelist. Also two packs. So some GX action on both of those. And finally, our last product of the video before we open a couple packs. This is a good one. MFC and Legacy of Darkness. That's going to be fun. L I mean, that in theory should be unweighed because it's still in here. They packaged this back in 2004. So could be pretty awesome. Okay. I decided we're gonna open these four packs right here. So I went with Unlimiteds because we're gonna save the first ads for future videos, but we have a couple of original logos. We got Pharaoh Server, we got Labyrinth the Nightmare, we got Pharaonic Guardian and Dark Crisis. So pretty good selection here. Let's see if we get any foils, it's gonna make me really excited about the rest of it. So here we go. Um, let's try Dark Crisis first. See what we can get. See if we can pull anything. If we go one for four, I'm gonna be super happy. These actually might be, these might be from the special editions with glass. These might be glass special edition because they, yeah, EN. These are glass special edition. Okay, that they're not from 2004. They're from like 2000 and when did glass come out? 2007, eight? I think it might be 2007. Okay, we have Thousand Needles. We have Battle Footballer, not football season. We have Grar, Kelbeck, Sakuretsu Armor. Deal with the Dark Ruler. Give us a deal with the Dark Ruler. Give us something good. Infernal Queen Archfiend. Oh, wait. I forgot they have a rare there. Okay, nothing there. Guardian Kist. No big deal. Let's try Pharaonic Guardian. There are good commons in here, so even if we don't pull anything, we can get Maiden of the Aqua, we get Metamorphosis, or Trap Dust Shoot. Those are all really good commons. From Pharaonic Guardian. Here we go. 2003, baby. Let's do this. One, two, three. Oh, it's four, actually, on this one. Okay. Rite of Spirit. Cobra Jar. Metamorphosis. There it is. There's a good one. Let's put that to the side. We have Servant Catabolism. Deslacuda. Gravekeeper's Assailant, Dark Snake Syndrome, Timidity, and we have, give us uh, Donza Luke. Coffin Cellar, okay, over two. Slow start, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Here we go, baby. Original 2002, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Can we pull Gemini Elf, Magic Cylinder? We already saw Magic Cylinder in this video, so it'd be cool if we pulled one as well. In terms of Ultras, you guys know what we want. We want Dark Necrofear. We want, uh, what's the other one called? Last Warrior from Another Planet and uh, Bass Beast. There we go. Lightning Conger. I'm struggling. We have Dancing Fairy. Any foil, though, was great. Oh, Revival Jam. Worm Drake. That's just a super. We have Amazon Archer. Mario Kutai. The Portrait Secret. Give us something big. The Dark Door. Dream Sprite, and we have Jar of Green, a foil. As I said, all I want is a foil to give us hope. And that's centering. Check that out, guys. That is nearly a miscut card. That is a Jar of Greed to draw one card from your deck right there, baby. Okay, I'm not mad. We pulled something. That's amazing. Okay, Pharaoh Servant, 2002. Look, I don't know if you can have Jinzo or not. I don't know if you're a retail pack or not, but hopefully you are a hobby pack. Original Jinzo would be pretty crazy. I just ripped this pack. Let's do this. <sighs> Genzo, baby. One, two, three, four. Buster Blader. Here we go. Insect Barrier. We have Spike Bot. Regulation of Tribe. We have Skull Mariner. Sword Hunter. Ground Glabs. Last pack. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out Ruxin34.com if you want to pick up some of the stuff that I show in the video or other stuff. I'm about to hiccup like or burp. I don't know what it is. Ground Glabs. That means we're going to pull Genzo. We can fight through it. Come on. Seal of Ground Armor 2. And we have the Red Moon, baby. All right. Not a vampire baby yet. Still 
pretty awesome collection. I'm super excited to open these packs. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nana Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.